Melanie Chisholm, 48, opened up about the Spice Girls' disappointment that they had to miss the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations last month. It had been speculated that Melanie would reunite with bandmates Victoria Beckham, Jerry Horner, Emma Bunton, and Melanie Brown, to perform at the Platinum Party at the Palace. However, when the concert took place, the pop legends were nowhere to be seen. In an exclusive interview with Express, UK, Melanie admitted that the group weren't happy that they couldn't make it, but she explains that it would have been impossible to pull together. She said, you know what, we would have loved to be there but it was just one of those situations where it was impossible. With us girls, there is so much that we would like to do but there are four, five, people involved with families and other commitments and responsibilities. So, I think that was something that we had to miss. We weren't happy about having to miss it, but yeah, sometimes things don't work out. Melanie also added that the girls have been very lucky to meet the royal family on several occasions in the past. Nevertheless, it was still a shame not to celebrate the Queen's 70-year reign on the day. The When You're Gone hitmaker went on, We have been very, very lucky to meet the Queen and Prince Charles, obviously we have a bit of a history with Prince Charles. It was a shame to not be there on the day but I'm sure that we will have other opportunities moving forward. The Spice Girls previously were united without Victoria for a spectacular 13-day tour back in 2019. The last time they performed together as a five-piece was at the closing ceremony of the London 2012 Olympic Games. They memorably performed a medley of their biggest hits while riding on the back of sparkling black cabs. When asked whether fans could expect to see the girls back together, Melanie said that it is something they would all like to happen. She explained, we would love to get back on stage together but it's just getting everything to work for everybody and everyone's lives and responsibilities. But fingers crossed, looking ahead, that is what we would all like to happen. Aside from the prospect of a Spice Girls reunion, Melanie has been extremely busy performing lots of shows of her own. Last month, Sporty Spice took to the stage at Glastonbury alongside English pop band Blossoms. The crowd went wild when they sang a rendition of 1997 hit Spice Up Your Life as Melanie donned one of her trademark tracksuits. Keeping with the sporty theme, Melanie has been spending time supporting the Lionesses in the Women's Euro 2022. England will take on Sweden on Tuesday evening's semi-final following their victory against Spain last week. To mark the team's historic success, Melanie has partnered with Booking. Com, the official Euro 2022 accommodation booking partner, to promote the benefits of traveling. On why she has got involved, Melanie said, I have been so lucky in my career and I have done a lot of traveling. With the wonderful Women's Euro, there is an opportunity to travel all over England, to places that you may never have thought of going to. She added, obviously, being sporty spice and being a spice girl, we have always been very vocal about girl power and for me no more so than celebrating women's football. Research from Booking.com found that 41% of England fans said travelling to watch a football match abroad opened them up to new experiences and 37% said it encouraged them to be more adventurous and try new things. Booking.com is the official accommodation booking partner of UEFA Women's Euro 2022 and its campaign showcases the power of first experiences.